Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today I'm in Girocaster, Albania. I just walked into the giant castle at the top of the mountain. The entrance is basically here. I read the sign. So this whole castle has like a 1500 year history. And they even said there's a lot about it that is mysterious. They're not quite sure about everything yet. So anyway, I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna start walking around. First thing I notice is the, uh, the artillery here. My guess is these are a little bit more uh, new and modern. They weren't 1500 years old. So I'm guessing this castle was taken over and repurposed many times throughout history. The sign says that this little tank is a remarkable survivor. It is one of only three remaining tanks of its type in the world out of 283, which were commissioned by the Italian forces in World War II. Check out these holes in the wall. I'm guessing they would put some serious guns through here and shoot. These walls are about eight foot thick. Down these stairs are apparently some ovens from the Ottoman era. When people lived in the castle, these ovens would have been operating almost constantly, producing bread to feed the soldiers. So it's kind of dark here. I guess we're going down. All I see is 1,000 feathers and pigeon poop. Wow. This was an oven? Are you serious? Like the biggest, biggest oven I've ever seen in my life. It's over here. Okay, this looks more like an oven. <laughs> All right, I think this is the oven. The fire would be down here, and then they would put I don't know, I don't know how they did it, but I'm guessing this is where the fire was. And then they would just put the, uh, I don't know if it's like they, they do it in India, they stick it on the sides of the wall, or Pakistan, I'm not sure. No idea. Interesting though. So after going through the artillery section, it leads outside to this unbelievable view. Check this out. These cannons are like super old. <laughs> They're not even smooth, they're like jagged. Interesting. It says keep off the grass because the grass is protected by cannons. Don't walk on the grass. This is another absolutely massive cannon. The cannonball down there is huge. It's twice the size of a bowling ball. And there's like a jet, a fighter jet up here. That's kind of a weird thing to have here. I'm really wondering how it got up here, to be honest. Um, The facts. This is a Lockheed T-33 shooting star reconnaissance aircraft of the U.S. Air Force. In December 1957, it landed at an airport near Tirana. After several weeks, the pilot returned to the U.S., but the aircraft remained in Albania. The plane was brought here in the 1970s to be displayed at the Arms Museum in the castle. Interesting. Okay, so it really has nothing to do with the castle. They just brought it here because it's something cool to look at. So down the steps apparently is a prison and it had a very famous person in there in the 1800s and he was imprisoned for apparently teaching students in the native language which was apparently forbidden during the Ottoman ruling. Oh wow, it's like, that's it. <laughs> it smells like urine, so that's fun. It's so dark I can't see, that's it. All there is is uh, it's just a window with a little ladder. I'm not gonna go out there. Let's peek in here. So I have my phone so we can look in here. God, I hope an animal doesn't come out and try to eat me. Wow. Oh, this is creepy. Wow, are we even allowed to be in here? This is crazy. You can't really see very much. Wall on each side. There's rain dripping and hitting, hitting me in the ceiling, but pretty big prison. I'm guessing a lot of people were in here at the same time. Wow. Like there is no light at all. Huh. Wow. I think 
goes up there a little bit. These are giant beds, maybe? I don't know, there's no signs. A lot of debris in here. Yeah, that's it. And then a little breathing hole at the top. So apparently now this area is used for parties. Check it out. Even if you're not interested in the castle, I highly recommend that you come here just to check out the view of the mountains on both sides, mainly that side. It's just unbelievable here. It's so beautiful. I guess I'm a sucker because I come from an area where there's no mountains. So this sign is about bats. Bats, apparently there are big bats here. Not as big as in Asia, there's no way. Those bats are massive. They're like small children with wings. At least 14 species of bats live in this valley. They like to live in safe, sheltered places like caves, abandoned tunnels, or the attics and vaults of old buildings. So I just got into this big opening and there's like a giant group of students, I think. And they're behind me, so I either I have to go faster <laughs> or I have to wait for them to pass. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel like pressured or something. So apparently there's a story when the Ottoman came to take over this castle, whenever that happened, there was a woman who didn't want to be a part of it, so she ran with her baby to this exact part of the castle, and she jumped off the cliff to her death holding her baby, and she died, but her baby didn't. And people apparently said they found calcium deposits right where she would have fell. That supports that theory. So according to the sign, this is the lowest point of the castle. And it's also the heaviest guarded for all the reasons that you see on the signs. There's a lot of stuff here that would prevent an attack from happening. So they concentrated a lot of, a lot of knowledge in this area to ward off troops. But apparently it must not have worked very well because the other crazy people took over. Oh, this is weird. You probably can't hear it on camera, but when I'm talking, when I'm standing here, right here in the middle, my voice reflects and comes back, and it sounds really strange to me. So if you follow these stairs, they, they're very interesting stairs. I don't know where they take you. There's no sign that says <laughs> what this takes you. Oh, it takes you to a gate. I'm guessing this would take you to the bottom of the castle a long time ago. Now, you can't go. But here is another side area. Huh. Not sure where this takes us. To nowhere. Takes us to nowhere. That's cool. <laughs> awesome. But well, we do have a window. A lot of these little windows for uh, guns or weapons or something. So basically almost everywhere you go there's construction everywhere. There's construction here, there's construction here, there's construction there, there's construction over there, and there's construction up here. I'm not even sure where you can go anymore. There's so many places that are kind of blocked right now. So I literally don't know where to go next. I don't know if we can go up. I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask someone. Yeah, it feels like part of what I'm seeing kind of has this Frodo feeling. <laughs> in uh, Lord of the Rings, like these little, these little doors, Big rocks, lots of grass. I don't know, kind of cool. So far today has been amazing. This place is cool. The weather's amazing as well. It's about 12 o'clock. Yeah, I just flew a little bit. <laughs> I got my finger a little bit too close to the blade and like I took part of my nail completely off. Surprisingly, it doesn't hurt so bad yet because it's numb. I can't feel really anything. It just hit and that was it. <laughs> It hurts, but not as bad as you would think, since I can see under my nail. Kind of weird. Anyway, um, so I finished like this whole area. There's so many signs that say that you, you can't really go places, so I'm, I'm not even really sure where to go. I guess I'm going to 
kind of follow these students from a distance. Maybe they know where to go, because I literally don't know. It's just go back to the beginning. So, I don't know. Stay tuned. Well, that was fun. It turns out that I actually did complete the castle. There's a lot over here, but you can't really get to it. And yeah, I completed the whole area over there. It turns out that I want to say close to 40% of everything was kind of blocked with construction. I couldn't get anywhere. They have ropes and signs saying, ah, don't enter. So there's a lot more that I guess I would have liked to have seen over here and even on the other side, but unfortunately it was blocked. I don't know the reason. Anyway, it's, uh, it's about quarter after 12. Now I'm gonna head down and see if I can find maybe a little bit of early lunch somewhere. There's like a, hello, hello. There's like a area somewhere where I can grab lunch somewhere. I've seen it even with the drone. It's like right down here somewhere. So anyway, I'm gonna go see if I can walk through this little village place, find some lunch and uh, call it a day. things here. A lot of art galleries and a lot of antiques that you can buy. I think down this way, yesterday, I, I browsed through here briefly and I found a couple places where I can eat lunch. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a bit crowded. Number one, two, three, four, and I came from five. I don't know. I guess let's go down further. I walked through here at like eight o'clock last night. <laughs> I was like the only person. Awesome, so I stopped at a restaurant for a second. I'm not super hungry, it's not, I don't know, it's quarter to one, but um, I got meatball soup. I don't know what kind of soup it is, just meatball soup. They call it mountain tea. I had it for breakfast this morning, it's really good, somewhere else, and then a couple pieces of bread. So, yeah, that's lunch. And I have a lot of uh, friends nearby, a lot of cats coming to say hello. So the man said the tea is called mountain tea because it's grown all over here. He said everybody in Albania drinks this tea in the morning, so. I'm very curious if it tastes what I, like what I had this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it's the same. It's slightly different, but it's the same thing. Mm. That is a really unique tea. I can't think of a taste that has that. It's almost like a, a piece of mint somewhere in there. I don't know, it's really good. It's one o'clock. My day is not finished, but this video is. I think my next destination will be the Cold War tunnels. There are tunnels beneath the city that was only discovered recently, according to the local people. Not discovered, but hidden from the public for a very long time until the public just kind of found out or something recently. So, interesting. I'm gonna go check those out. They're now publicly available. and I'm gonna walk through them, so look for that video. Other than that, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed following me on this quick little journey in the castle. By the way, I'm under the plane. I'm eating lunch under the plane. The plane is just like right here. It's kind of cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.